Hey guys, Mitch here. Today we're going over Swipe Safari. It is a jailbreak tweak for both your iPhone, your iPod Touch, and your iPad that allows you to meet the new Safari on your device. Now some of the options that Swipe Safari allows you to do includes one finger swipes, pull to refresh, full screen. It allows you to navigate to previous or next page navigation using one finger or two fingers. It allows you to work with screen pulling in all directions, up, down, left, or right. And it allows you to have the pull to refresh. You can also remove the limit of tab count. No longer do you have to have eight tabs, but you can have as unlimited as you want. Then uh, this tweak does work with gestures, so you will be using both tapping and finger swipes. And these finger swipes can be with either one finger, two fingers, or three fingers, and you can have multiple taps. In addition to that, you also have the option to have Safari as a full screen, which will remove the top part here along with the tabs and the bookmarks at the bottom. So in Safari, you can remove the tab count allowing you to have unlimited pages on Safari. If you can see here we do have about 12 or so and this does bypass the 8 limits on Safari. Our first option with swiping includes the one finger to either go back or forward to a, a previous or a new page. So if we swipe back here you will get a gray screen but in a second or so it should load with the new page that is your previous one it will give you a little bit of a description right now it is Apple and if I will let go it will go back to the previous tab opening up Apple's website if I go back one previous more it will bring up YouTube's page here and it will go back a previous tab and you can also go forward to the next tab that you do have opened and this one should be Apple Swiping with two fingers will allow you to go back or forward to a previous page within the actual site. So this will bypass the ability to use these forward or backward arrows here. So if I use two fingers and I swipe to the left, it will go back to Apple's store here. And if I go back once more, it will go back to Apple's homepage here. And you can do this to go forward. So if I swipe with two fingers to the right, it will go forward one time. And if I swipe with two fingers again, it will go back to the iPhone section of the Apple Store. Now, swiping down will reveal the top of the page. So if you are at the very bottom here, all you have to do is swipe down with two fingers, and it will take you to the top of the page, like so. And if you swipe up with two fingers, you will have the option to go to the bottom of the page. So right at the top here, Swipe with two fingers and we'll go to the very bottom. So this is very ideal if your web page is extremely long and you want to quickly go to either to the top or the bottom of your page. Now swiping with three fingers will allow you to go to a previous tab or the next tab. So if we swipe to the right here, you'll be able to go back to the previous tab and swiping to the left will allow you to go to the next tab. Now if you swipe down, this will have the option to refresh. So if you swipe down, you will have the option to refresh the website, allowing you to see the new and existing changes. Pinching your two fingers together will allow you to close the tab or the page that you are on. So you take your two fingers here, it allows you to close the tab, and you can easily do that. So over in this one, pinch together, and the tab will be closed. Double tapping with one finger will allow you to go to the top of a page. So if you are on the bottom of the page and you double tap your finger, it will go to the top of the page. And if you triple tap, it will allow you to go to the bottom of the page. So you can go to the bottom of the page. A single tap of a finger along with a long press will allow you to open up a new tab. So if we single tap here and hold, it will allow you to open up a new tab here. And if we want to close a tab, all you have to do is double press your uh, finger and do a long press. So we double tap here and hold, the tab will be closed. Now on the actual site, if you swipe up to the top here, you will have a refresh, almost like a pull to refresh in the Twitter base. So if you can easily pull to refresh. At the bottom here, if you swipe down, you'll have the show bookmarks which will allow you to open up your bookmarks here and you can easily view your history or your bookmarks on Safari. To toggle in a full screen all you have to use is your two fingers and double tap here. You'll be toggled in a full screen and to get out of full screen all you have to do is double tap again using your two fingers. And you'll be toggled out of full screen. Now all of these gestures and polar options can be configured within the Swipe Safari settings. 
if we open up the gestures here, you can see we do have the swipes using one finger, two fingers, three fingers. You have the pinching with two fingers the multiple taps with one finger or two fingers or the long presses. Now these can be configured to your liking. You can easily select one and choose within the long list here including the close tab, go to the next tab, go to the bottom. But the ones that are redefined are pretty much awesome and are default. And you can also customize the polar if you open up the options there, you can enable the polar and you can also customize the delay and all the options here just like in the gestures. Now you also have the option to hide the status bar at the full screen. So if you do keep that on, the status bar here will be disappeared. And if you do want to have that off, you just have to toggle, toggle that on or off. So guys, this is Swipe Safari and it allows you to get multiple gestures, including swipes with multiple fingers and polar commands, all within your Safari on both your iPhone, your iPod Touch, and your iPad. You can pick this tweak up in Cydia via the Big Boss repo for $1.50 and this is a limited time as it is on sale and it will jump within the next week to $3. And this allows you to have a redefined brand new Safari in your iPod Touch, your iPhone, and your iPad allowing you to have multiple swipes, double taps, pinches, and allows you to have a full screen and to remove the limits of the tab count on your device. So if you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up. Leave any comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks, guys.